the se sex appeal is, is, uh, is his living, of course, and Leslie and I have our memories. And, uh, <laughs> uh, I wonder if, <clears throat> if it delights you or, or embarrasses you terribly to know that you are, in the eyes of many men, the ultimate fantasy. Uh, no kidding, really? No. I can vouch for that. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, no, I, uh, I fell in love with you in The Sound of Music, and I've been in love with you ever since. I think you were absolutely... Well, I, I said it backstage just now, and I'll say it again. Yeah. I, uh, your performance in that was one of the finest performances ever in a film at any time. You rocketed out of that screen, and everybody just loved you. Oh, thank you. Oh, with those so fine and noble words, <laughs> all of you Thank you for your company. Julie Andrews. And Tom Jones. And Leslie Crowder. And thank you for your company. See you next week. Good night. For the first time in five years, Julie Andrews has returned to her native soil to work in a film. She co-stars with Max von Sydow and Alan Bates in the film version of Tom Kempinski's play, Duet for One. Oh, do we have to go any further? I feel as if we've been walking for weeks. Ah, uh, no, oh, just a little just bit further. Oh, Poor what? Louis, every time he comes down here, I drag him out. But this time, instead of being directed by her husband, Blake Edwards, she'll be taking cues from runaway train director, Andrei Konchalovsky. For the first week, we kind of walked around each other and got to know each other. But I do have such respect for him, and, and uh, he is so good that it's very easy to place yourself in, in his hands. He asks very difficult things at times, but then he is so wonderful in that he shows you how to find them and how to do them, and gives you the time to do them. And so, um, although it's hard, it's, uh, it's terribly pleasurable as well. Tell me how you researched your role. It deals with multiple sclerosis, after all. I was fortunate enough to go here in England to a wonderful centre for uh, multiple sclerosis down in Bromley in Kent. And uh, they welcomed me there. I was a little shy about going because everyone there has the illness and I thought that I would maybe appear somewhat like a voyeur and, and it didn't seem fair to look in on on their uh, problems and so on, but they were so pleased that I cared to ask questions and that I wanted to go and find out. And I got a lot of hints that day, little things that helped a lot. Okay. Well, simple, I mean, as simple as uh, a lady with MS, if her hands were giving her a very bad time, she wouldn't just pick up a cup, she'd have to have both hands around the cup. And on top of that, you had to learn to play the violin, or do you play, <laughs> do you, do you play the violin, have you, as a child? Well, no, I never touched the instrument in my life until I started to work on it for this film. And it was killingly difficult, not only for me, but for everyone in the vicinity, because I made such excruciating noises. But I, I now have the most enormous respect for the instrument. İkinci konuğumuz yine ünlü bir İngiliz sanatçısı, Julie Andrews. O da geçtiğimiz günlerde son film çalışmasını tamamladı. Andrei Konchalovsky'nin yönettiği filmde başrolü Ellen Bates ile paylaştı. Duet for One, tek kişilik duet, evli bir çiftin ilişkisini konu ediyor. Julie Andrews sadece bir oyuncu değil, aynı zamanda iyi bir dansçı ve şarkıcı. Onu Victor Victoria, sevgili Lily, Yıldız gibi ünlü müzikal filmleriyle tanıyoruz. Dilerseniz şimdi unutulmayan bir filminin yine unutulmayan şarkısını dinleyelim. Sound of Music. <Gülüyor> 